John McEnroe has told Australian Open quarterfinalists Tennis Sandgren he will be ten times richer as a person if he embraces differences in tennis and society. The world number 97's run to the last hate in Melbourne was overshadowed this week after it emerged he followed a number of American far-right accounts on social media. But the seven-time Grand Slam winner has urged his countrymen to embrace the message of social equality championed by leading figures from the sport's past. Have you heard of Althea Gibson, Martina Navratilova, Venus and Serena Williams among other? He said in a Eurosport video. All of these relentless fighters and pioneers for these noble causes. Have you heard about equal prize money? And how tennis was the first sport to make it a reality. These heroes reshaped our sport and left us a common heritage we have to treasure. Yeah, we get to shine on the court, but it gives us a responsibility. As world travelers, we have to carry a message, let's embrace our differences. I promise you, it'll make you ten times richer than any Grand Slam victory could. It's up to you, tennis. After his run down under came to an end at the hands of Hyun Chung, the 26-year-old issued an impassioned defense. He told the media in a press conference, You seek to put people in these little boxes so that you can order the world in your already assumed preconceived ideas. You strip away any individuality for the sake of demonizing by way of the collective. With a handful of follows and some likes on Twitter, My fate has been sealed in your minds. Sangren denied he is a supporter of the far-right movement in their views, but admitted to finding some opinions interesting. He insists that to fully support their beliefs would be incompatible with his Christian faith. He has deleted much of his social media activity, including a tweet from 2012, in which he said a visit to a gay club left my eyes bleeding. Serena Williams, who tweeted Turn's channel during his straight sets quarterfinal defeat, urged him to apologize this week. She posted on Twitter, I don't need or want one. But there is an entire group of people that deserves an apology. I can't look at my daughter and tell her I sat back and was quiet. No. She will know how to stand up for herself and others through my example. Tennis Sandgren Your amazing run at the Australian Open has sadly been overshadowed by all the revelations of your online social activity. I'm not here to judge you, I don't even know you, where you came from and what kind of education you've received. But I heard you say, I want to learn, I'm only 26. I, would like to teach you about some important events in the history of our sport. You see, tennis, in those days they couldn't tweet their opinions, you actually had to do something in order to be heard. Have you heard of Althea Gibson, Martina Navratilova, Venus and Serena Williams among others? All of these relentless fighters and pioneers for these noble causes. Have you heard about equal prize money? and how tennis was the first sport to make it a reality. These heroes reshaped our sport and left us a common heritage we have to treasure. Yeah, we get to shine on the court, but it gives us a responsibility. As world travelers, we have to carry a message, let's embrace our differences. I promise you, it'll make you ten times richer than any Grand Slam victory could.